In this video, I'll show you how to get unique values in a column. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and tutorials on how to use Calc software. Let's head over to my other sheet. Here I just have a basic table with a list of cities and just a quick look shows that I don't have any duplicate values, so everything is unique. But just to demonstrate, I'll put in a duplicate city and country. So the way to just get unique values is to first select the column. Then we can go up to data, more filters, and then standard filter. Here the dialog shows up. And what we want to do for this is first choose not empty. We can expand the options. Here it's optional. We can select this. Basically this will recognize when I chose the column, the column header of city is included. But if I don't check it, it'll just show column B. But just keep in mind that it might consider city to be a duplicate if in any of the cells the word city is used. And the most important option is we have to choose no duplications. And here I'll choose copy results to and select a separate location to display the unique values. Here I'll just choose a cell in column E and now I'll choose OK. So as we can see, Cal created a new column for me right where I selected and it has removed a duplicate of Cairo from column B. Now I'll show you a similar way to do this but including both columns B and C. Since we know in our table the city goes with the country, it's better that we can remove both pieces of information instead of simply the city. So we can go back to data, more filters, standard filter, we can expand the options. I'll say yes it includes column labels, not empty. So now for this second row I'll choose and and I'm targeting the country and it has to be not empty as well. But the important part here is again check no duplications and then I'll copy the results to and I'll just choose a cell in column G and there we go. Now it populated the city and country as unique entries in my spreadsheet. So that's it for this quick tip. I hope you found it useful. I recommend that you watch a similar video I made about how to highlight duplicate rows in LibreOffice Calc. Thank you very much for watching and as always stay nifty.